What's going on, Jerome's undisclosed location? And the great thing about this is, you know, we're rocking our Miami Heat jersey. They didn't blow the 3-0 lead as a nail biter. But the great thing about this is, you don't know if I'm wearing pants or not. It's the world is a mystery. But so, if you're of a certain age, you remember the '98 Vikings, where they're coming out random mouse, uh, you know, fell in the draft, and the Vikings, even though they had Chris Carter, all-time great receiver, Jake Reed was a thousand-yard receiver uh, as well. They still took Randy Moss, BPA, and they went three wide. I remember Brad Johnson was a quarterback uh, to start the season. Randall Cunningham was the backup, but Brad Johnson hurt his ankle. Uh, Randall Cunningham came in and was an MVP finalist and had an amazing, amazing season, man, and. And the offense was a ton of fun, just chucking it deep to Randy Moss. Chris Carter was getting his. Jake Reed underneath. Matthew Hatchett, also Andrew Glover, the tight end. Uh, Robert Smith, very underrated uh, running back, doing the damn thing. And I loved it, man. Uh, and it, it's one of the greatest offenses in NFL history. And I got to see it as a 12-year-old Yeah, because – I made, I made this case before. From about 11 to, say, 17 is your window of wet cement when your sports memories are made, when your music tastes are made, etc. And that was it for me. That got me hooked on the Vikings long time uh, and long term. And unfortunately, I don't know, maybe it's for the best or for the worst. But... I understand we're generally more optimistic than most, uh, and I, I fully understand we're, we're a little bit of a homer, but this offense has the makings to be something great. And I, there, there's zero percent chance that, that people can go around and say, hey, uh, the, the, the Vikings offense this year got worse. Where uh, I understand moving on from Adam Thielen, but he had lost a step. It is what it is. And this offense has a chance to be great. It was good last year. I mean, there's their top 10 in points, their top 10 in yards, and you know, the 113 games and the division. And it wasn't because of that defense, which is 31st in the NFL. So they won in spite of that defense. That's how good that offense was last year. That's why Justin Jefferson was Offensive Player of the Year. That's why he was an MVP finalist. That's why Kirk Cousins had the best season of his career, frankly. And it's only going to get better because we, we've talked about this before. This is the first time in his Vikings tenure that he's had the same offensive play caller back-to-back -back years in Kevin O'Connell, as well as the first time he's had back-to-back uh, -back play callers since going back to like 2016, you know, with Sean McVay back in the day in Washington. So he doesn't have to learn a brand new vocabulary. He doesn't have to learn a brand new offense this offseason. And Kevin O'Connell, yes, they worked together in Washington, uh, but now a year with the Vikings, you know that Kevin O'Connell's in the lab with a pen and a pad trying to get this damn label off, and he's catering to what Kirk Cousins did well, and he's recalibrating this offense to have it fit the personnel. Where, I mean, it's amazing what they did on offense last year, especially given the injuries. Darisaw missed time twice with a concussion. Uh, O'Neal uh, with the uh, Achilles. Uh, uh, Garrett Bradbury had that back issue. Ezra Cleveland got dinged up too. So, I mean, the Vikings... Did amazing things, uh, even though the offensive line was a bit shoddy at times. And it's it's such an anomaly. Like, the Vikings had a top-10 offense, and Dalvin Cook had uh, his lowest yards per carry in his career. Kirk Cousins had the most pressures and most sacks of his career, and they still did the damn thing. It's kind of kind of crazy, man. But Addison in for Thielen, KJ another year older, wiser. Also, TJ Hawkinson with a full offseason uh, in this offense. Remember, Hawkinson did the, did the things he did last year. And, you know, after the uh, the trade deadline, he was tight end two in the league in, in most statistical categories behind Travis Kelsey. He has a full offseason, a full chance to fully integrate and full, a full chance for Kevin O'Connell to completely think up ways to scheme TJ Hawkins and open and utilize him as opposed to just doing it on the fly in season last year. It's amazing. I mean, it's absolutely amazing. And I understand this can be verbose. I understand we're Vikings fans and we can't we can't talk about positive things or you know, look forward to things. But this offense has a chance to be one of the best in franchise history. And this franchise has had some pretty damn good offenses. And the defense is going to be more opportunistic under Flores. They won't be dead last. They won't sit back and let life happen to them. So... I, I cannot wait. And whether Dalvin's here or not, the running game is going to be back on point. The offensive line is going to be healthy. Josh Oliver uh, is a great addition, sneaky great addition, uh, the best blocking tight end in the game. Uh, C.J. Ham, they're going to utilize him more on offense. And that, that was uh, a, a bit of uh, Achilles heel for the Vikings offensive line last, or offense in general last year, where third and one, fourth and one, fourth and inches, they, they were in shotgun. They were in empty. Like, uh, they just couldn't. 
uh, they couldn't get a yard when they needed it, and that's what held back this offense. But I, I'm sure Kevin O'Connell will get that thing sutured up. I'm sure he's going to sample ideas from a lot around the league. I'm sure that we're going to have the rugby push uh, as part of this offense as well. So I cannot wait. I cannot wait because, again, Jefferson ain't throwing the ball to himself. Kirk, if he's protected, has play action, Jefferson has a chance to really thrive, become the MVP MVP. Addison is in the best situation of any of the rookie wide receivers. Uh, He can certainly get open. He can certainly get his. KJ is going to do the damn thing. I head into uh, uh, contract year as well. TJ is going to be tight end one in this league, and I love it. This offense is going to be legit and it's okay to think that way babe it's okay babe uh but your thoughts are thoughts let us know in the comment section below skull marginal production value